Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13. And this morning we want to look at just verse 1. Now I know this is an overview of Paul's missionary journeys and we're not looking at just one verse each day, but we'd like to look at just verse 1 this morning. And after we look at the verse, we want to stand in amazement that Luke was able to record that there was, in fact, a church in Antioch. So let's read verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that is called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manna N. Uh, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for each one that is here today. We pray that you would help us, Lord, to learn from your word, to soak it up, and, Father, that we might uh, stand in awe at how you worked providentially and sovereignly in the background to bring about this stupendous event that we so easily gloss over in our reading about the fact that there was a church in Antioch. Teach us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So here we have it in verse 1. Now there was, there were, in the church that was at Antioch, Paul makes a simple statement. This is the beginning of the first missionary journey, and it's recorded for us in Acts chapter 13 and 14. And it begins with a simple statement.